Hello YouTube family. Today, we're diving into a topic that may initially seem strange. Finding love after age 50. I know what you're thinking. Ew, gross. Old people in relationships? But stick around because this is a really fascinating and vital subject. There are so many misconceptions out there about dating and relationships for people over 50. Well, I'm here to bust those myths wide open and give you all the actual facts. Myth number one, people over 50 are not interested in sex or relationships anymore. This could not be further from the truth. According to a survey by Our Time, 50% of people over 50 agreed that the biggest myth they face the fact that they're not interested in sex. Just because someone is older doesn't mean those wants and needs for intimacy, affection and companionship go away. In fact, many find that mature love is more fulfilling because it's based on genuine compatibility rather than just physical attraction. Myth number two, singles over 50 have way too much baggage. Okay. Listen up what some might see as baggage like divorce, kids from previous relationships, or just years of life experience. Others see as richness and depth. Having a history doesn't make someone undateable. It makes them fully realize that they are human beings with lessons learned and stories to tell. Those are assets, not burdens, when it comes to finding a real soulmate connection. Myth number three, men only want much younger women. Yeah. No. This is 100% false. While some men might be attracted to a significant age gap, the vast majority find women their own age extremely desirable. Especially when those women are self-assured and embrace their looks without obsessing over every wrinkle or gray hair. At the end of the day, a great photo that captures your radiant energy can draw men in regardless of your age or their stated preferences. Confidence and self-love are the biggest attractors. So now that we've busted those dating myths wide open, let's talk about how to find love after 50. The most significant piece of advice? Get online. People over 50 are the most substantial and fastest growing group of online daters. Dating apps and websites open up an entire pool of potential partners you'd never meet otherwise. Feel free to make a profile and start swiping or messaging. An updated, flattering photo and an authentic bio are crucial to attracting quality matches. But you can't just rely on apps and expect love to fall into your lap. Getting out and being socially active is so important, too. Join clubs or take classes based on your interests and hobbies. Nurture your existing friendships and put yourself in environments where you can make new connections. The more you get out there, the more opportunities for sparks to fly. No matter how you choose to meet people, the most crucial things are having an open mind, cultivating self-confidence, and being patient. Don't get discouraged if Mr. or Mrs. Wright doesn't appear right away. Embrace the journey of dating itself as a voyage of self-discovery. Have fun, stay grounded, and trust that an authentic connection will come when the time is right. Focus on being the best version of yourself rather than pursuing love from a place of loneliness or desperation. People can sense that vibe from a mile away, it's a total turn-off. At the end of the day, the most important relationship you can cultivate is the one you have with yourself. Build that self-esteem, let your inner beauty shine. And the right partner will naturally be drawn to that radiant energy. So there you have it, my friends. A total myth busting when it comes to finding love after 50. It's always possible to put yourself out there, be open to new experiences, and manifest the deep connection you deserve. 
One thing we Haven T really touched on yet is intimacy and sex for those dating after 50. The idea of your parents or grandparents getting it on might make you gag a little. But hear me out. The reality is that intimacy and sexual desires don't just disappear as you age. In fact, many find that without the pressures of raising kids or climbing career ladders, they have more time and energy to devote to cultivating a fulfilling sex life. Now, I'm not saying every senior is out here drunk, sexting, and installing rigid for their dating apps. But there's no shame in still craving that intimate connection as you get older. Safe, consensual pleasure between two adults is a beautiful thing at any age. Open and honest communication with your partner about wants, needs, and boundaries is vital. Don't let societal stigmas hold you back from experiencing intimacy. Prioritize your desires and what brings you joy not what others think is appropriate for your age. At the end of the day, we're all human. We all crave love, intimacy, and connection until the day we die. Why should that beautiful part of life have an expiration date? So, if you're over 50 and feeling held back by ingrained myths, I encourage you to toss them out the window. Focus on cultivating self-confidence, being true to your wants, and not letting society dictate your love life. True fulfillment can happen at any age when you're open to it. If you found this video helpful, show some love with a like and subscribe for more content. Let me know your thoughts on this topic down in the comments. Thank you for watching. Catch you next time.